so my today's topic is aco and it's a lot of people nowadays say ki aco is dead but is it the case let's see all right so people say aco is dead and it's time for ppc you know to rule but that's not the case aco is still relevant and uh, to be very honest if you are not focusing on aco you are missing out a big chunk of your traffic and you are not doing digital marketing correctly so according to search engine land a very reputed source 50% of the traffic comes from organic search which is actually 17% more than last year so again this statistic shows that how important aco is so now yes that's a meme so that's about me i'm a content and inbound marketing specialist working for last 7 8 years now before we move on uh, let's start uh, you know discussing about the strategies i want to start with the basics then we'll move on with the advanced strategies now why basics yes a lot of thing you might be aware of the basic strategies and sometimes you may not be aware of it but basics are important if you don't follow the basics you know and move on directly to the advanced it is not going to help you that's for sure okay so what to uh, to how do you start first thing is to identify who is your target audience and you need to design your buyer's persona if you don't know who you are targeting or uh, who is a customer who is going to buy your product then you know you can't plan your seo strategy or your digital marketing strategy so that's very important next on the list is keyword planning now randomly you know we think all right i'm running a digital marketing agency so my keyword will be digital marketing but there is lot more than that so have a proper key, uh, keyword strategy then plan your content accordingly don't rush things because that's not going to help you anyways uh, another important thing is to understand that whether search engine is uh, you know crawling your website or not so the, you can use uh, tools like google analytics search console i prefer to integrate our uh, tag manager and then put all the codes there that makes uh, life much more easier you must have a sitemap and a robot files because you know again this is basic but hardly anyone like you know take this as an important point so please do that don't skip this part uh, on page seo we have tags meta descriptions url structure a very important thing we will discuss more in in the advanced sections image optimization pretty simple thing but we tend to avoid it please don't do it try to make sure your all the images are optimized it have relevant alt tags it have a, at least basic description it not only helps you to get a good ranking but it also an important aspect of, for accessibility so please don't skip that now on the screen you can see some examples how title and meta description looks like and how you can do it so i have uh, you know added two i have added uh, pictures of two different software plugins one is rank math and one is joost uh, you can use any of the you know plugins that are available in the market and the dashboard would look some, something similar and again an example of image optimization before and after so it's pretty much that and most important factor to consider in basics you must have an ssl certificate now if you don't have an ssl certificate what happens is uh, first google give you an warning and let's assume that your seo is good you have a good traffic and your ssl expired or it's not properly set up people come to your website and they landed up with a warning that's not going to help you so make sure your ssls are active and it's getting renewed automatically and it, all the security factors are in place so please take care of that last but not the least is your website should be optimized for mobile devices more than 50% of the search comes from mobile devices now if you ignore the fact that means you are losing 50% in fact more than 50% of the traffic so don't do that let's look at at a glance so some of the advanced points okay so what do we mean by health and hygiene so this means the basic thing that you need to take care in order to run a website and to ensure that your seo things are in place first monitor your up and down time why it's important if you don't monitor it you will never got to notify that your website is down simple thing but we miss out so please don't do that you can use free tools like fresh ping there are a lot more other tools as well and which are free so utilize that uh next again i already told you about the mobile visitors so make sure your website your content and everything is mobile friendly and mobile optimized don't miss on that part core vital again another important factor 
Google officially said uh, core factor are one of the things that they look after for you know uh, arranging that uh, ranking factor so don't miss out on that uh, you can check uh, Google page insights there are other tools as well so pretty much use those tools optimize it take help of your developer friends and get those things sorted your core vital is poor that means your traffic is going to get hampered so let's not do that okay now all uh, computer benchmarking now uh, in order to design a strategy the first thing uh, apart from clearing of the basics I think we also need to have a clear understanding about our competitors so I have divided the flow into three parts first who so it's very important to know who is our competitors and also to justify why I am picking that XYZ company or website as a competitor so be very careful while choosing who is your competitors next part is what now uh, now you do now you know that who is your competitors it's time for you to know what they are doing and then in the next phase why they are doing so once you have answer for all of it then you know exactly what your competitors are doing and what you are doing do an analysis and prepare your strategy accordingly so these are the few points that you can put on your competitor benchmarking one thing i want to highlight uh, is make sure your kpi is in place it's well defined and you know exactly which metrics to be tracked if you miss out on that then all your HCI effort will not be monitored properly and you don't know what to do next so please make sure your kpis are in place now semantic seo again this is a very uh, crucial and important topics i will be going through the slide very quickly so that we have more times in the q a and even even there is a time restriction so even in, in case if I'm not able to clarify any doubts over here let's catch up offline so I think most of you know him uh, he's very popular is your guy branding so that's the basic definition that according to him what is, is uh, semantic SEO you can read it I can allow you some 30 to 15 seconds please go through that all right so this is why uh, semantic issue is important now if you go to google and type any seed keywords you will see google is suggesting you some things now in my case i was searching from uh, my home that's why it's showing bengali probably in your case it will be in a different language so if you want to get suggested please take care of uh, semantic issue now how to take care of it now if you look at the chart uh, we have taken uh, digital marketing expert as a seed keyword and other things are related to digital marketing experts so if your content revolves around or if you design the content in this pattern then it will help you to get all the extra searches that you probably are missing out so please try to arrange and plan your content accordingly so that you meet all these criteria and you get more touch points uh, in terms of ACOs content cluster so what exactly is a content cluster so the idea of content cluster is you have a primary topic and you have uh, you have a uh, filler content for the primary keyword or a topic and then you have similar or related contents which are associated and connected with the primary topic so this is how you can plan again let's uh, take uh, content marketing as an example okay so again uh, what we did we divided it into content creation and content distribution again you can divide it as like whatever you know uh, possible or however you feel it comfortable and uh, now you can see the whole tree how you can divide the uh, content now if you take keyword research or even if you take uh, content creation or maybe off page optimization whatever point you take all of them are directly indirectly revolving around content creation so the idea is content creation is the main topic and you have supporting contents that revolves around your main topic snippet and schemas so here are some examples uh, that you can implement in in your ACA effort so that you know you get your schemas and snippets in place so this is an example of snippet uh, rich, uh, featured snippet so we call it rank zero now if you do a google search and most likely the most relevant uh, search term is on the top and you will find it on rank zero so your target will always be to rank your content in time uh, 
in rank zero. So what happens? The first thing that comes on the search page is your content. So try to optimize it in that way. We have reach snippet. You can see examples of reviews. You can uh, see examples of rating. Then you have FAQs. So what happens is like you get more real estate on the search page. And search page real estate are very expensive according to me because you know um, if you're on the first page people will come to your website you're on the second page nobody cares this is an example of side links so pretty much you know again this is important because you get extra links people can go to multiple uh, uh, part of your website so this again you know helps you to create more traffic and more uh, it is helpful okay so how to implement so here are some uh, you know uh, quick points that you can uh, track one, structure your content properly. It should be in a well-drafted format. It, uh, ideally, if you want to do a blog post, it should start with an uh, overview. Then you have your treble of content. Then you have the actual content all linked properly. And then you have a conclusion. And also try to leave a uh, call to action for your audience so that you get those engagement. Now, proper use of the schemas. Please make sure that all the schemas are relevant and has been uh, you know, implemented properly. You can know more at schema.org. Interlinking again is super important. Without interlinking, your uh, um, your topical relevance and other activities will not work properly. And never follow a shortcut. Always try to make sure you are following the best practices. Uh, now audit. A lot of we do a lot of activities related to ACO, related to you know other digital marketing activities, but. We don't audit our sites on a regular interval. Now my question is, if you are investing some time, some resources towards some activity, and if you're not monitoring it, and if you don't see what progress you are making, then how are you going to define the next step? So audit is a must. It gives you a clear picture, where are you standing, and what was your KPI, you compare that, and you know like whether you made a progress or you need more improvement to be done. So please make sure your audits are in place, I prefer to do a monthly audit and I would suggest at least do a monthly audit. Next, KPIs, follow them like anything, don't miss out on them because that's your parameter, that's the place from where you can track okay, what you need to do and how you need to proceed and where are you exactly. A-B testing, now in digital marketing, if there is all, there is nothing called, it's permanent or there is nothing called if you follow this, uh, you know, steps, your thing will work out. It's always experimentation. So you experiment, you learn something, you take it out. If you fail, that's fine. You take the learning from there and try again. Uh, remove the unnecessary things. Whether there is a uh, there is a blog or it may be a theme that you tried, it may be a plugin, it may be anything. If it is unnecessary, get rid of your website. Get it, get rid of them from your website. Don't keep them. And uh, yes. So a lot of time, what happen is we tends to have a belief he you know uh, we pick our super important keywords and make contents multiple contents on that super important keywords now what exactly happens when it gets into google you're basically competing for that keyword and all the pages are competing of your site so in a way you're eating up your own traffic so let's not do that the best way to uh, plan that is to have a proper keyword map you make a flowchart all right, this is my primary key. Uh, this is my primary keyword or the seed, seed keyword. Now, let's figure out maybe ten secondary keywords and ten long uh, long tail keywords and plan the content accordingly. Once the content is ready, try interconnecting them, cross posting them here and there, and I think that should be the ideal way to move up, move move ahead. And just in case you know you you have already done this mistake, already you know you add a similar keyword or some contents are already that is crawling, you want to get rid of them. Immediately what you can do is you can uh, mark them at no index. If you are using um, WordPress plugins, they give you easy access to do that. And if you are not, if you don't find an option there, what you can do, there is a file called robot.txt. You can just, uh, you know, uh, please allow those particular URLs and that should solve the purpose. And finally, if you see there is an option to remove it and that should not be affecting the performance of your website, then what you can do is you can remove it and put a permanent or a temporary redirection. That would also help you. Okay, now link structure. Why it's important? Because it creates a flow, and it is for the it is easier for the uh, user as well for the audience 
to go through your website like uh, in a book we have a table of content why so that we know what's inside the book similarly the link structure need to be implemented properly so that you know looking at the links or looking at the breadcrumb people know okay so after this this is coming after this this is coming so it helps them okay this can be an example of visual structure of how you can design uh, your URL structure and plan your content accordingly. So you can go through it. I would uh, share the slide lead. So, so I'll share the slides so that uh, you know you can go through it and if you have a question during the session uh, after the session you can always reach out to me. Okay. Now 404. Now sometimes it happens we remove some page something something you know crazy thing happens and something gets removed. So what happens you land up with a 404 error. Now, in most case, I would say 99% times, it is empty or it's just like, you know, land up with an error or maybe you have some templates where it's just a 404. Doesn't look good. And on the other hand, you are losing traffic. So what can be done? You can add a redirection, whether it's 301 or 302 or else what you can do uh, that you can redesign the uh, 404 page in a such a way so that even if what people were searching for, they didn't get it, but they at least got some content so that they can again they don't need to leave your website so they're staying in your website and maybe you know they get some valuable content as well i will show you some example the next slide look at how kinsta done it so amazing right this is from help scout and this is from big Fish commerce if you look at it they have so many information they have graphics element to keep that attention and also they have all the important links that they want you to click on now, before I wrap up, uh, there are certain things which, uh, you know, we should always follow. One, our objective and well, uh, you know, taking care of, uh, of ACO should be at least 5%. We at least have a KPI that we will ensure that our ACO effort at least bring 5% improvement on a month to month basis. Anything below 5%, it's terrible. Don't do that. Try to improve that. Anything above 5%, it's okay. But again, you need to improve, but it depends from case to case and niche to niche. Another metrics to keep in mind is session duration and bounce rate. If you have higher session duration, that means your audience is enjoying your content. They are going reading through your content. They are engaging. So that's a good parameter. You should always try to reduce your bounce rate because that means people came to your website. What they were looking for, they didn't found, uh, they didn't find it. So they leave and that's a very negative sign. So try to reduce your bounce rate as much as possible. And uh, finally, there is no shortcut and uh, there is no tutorial. There is nothing that is there on the internet that will assure you results that will teach you what you can do. You get a reference point from there and you start implementing things unless and until you implement it in real practical example, you will not be confident and you will not see the you know actual result coming up. So. Study online, take help from your seniors, take help from uh, other people, learn from everywhere, whatever is available. But at the end of the day, make a habit of implementing it. If you don't implement, it's not going to help. You will forget over the time. Content creation is super important. Without content creation, ACO is nothing. Because and without proper research, you won't be able to create authentic contents or the content that would be relevant. So research content is non-negotiable. Don't compromise on that. If you need more time, spend it. It's better to go slow and you know do it in the right way rather than you know doing one, 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 like one to three in a very fast manner. It's not gonna help you in long term. And uh, you won't see the ACO result instantly. It takes time. It's a it's it's kind of like you know you have to show your dedication, your hard work, and you will get the fruit over the time. So don't be disheartened when you see Ki, I worked a week and I don't see improvement. It's a slow process. Work for it for three months. You will see the result. Lastly, make sure you monitor what's going on. You analyze the results. You analyze the performance and improvise. So just to conclude, ACU is not dead. Don't think it in that way. And yes, uh, I'm open and I would love to take any questions that you have.